What's up guys, I'm Jack Maynard. I'm Alana Detroit. And this is Wake Up With. The first ever episode. And you should be excited because we have so much stuff coming up for you, including massive interviews with the biggest artists out right now, including the successful Maynard. <laughs> That's obviously funny. And also, each week, me and Alana are going to be setting each other some very difficult challenges. And I've set Jack a challenge this week that lets us see a little bit more than we But can they before. can just wait and see with that. But first of all, didn't you hook up with X-Factor's very own Tom Man? I did. Should we go and see what he had to say? So if you tuned into The X Factor for the very first episode, you would have met or seen Tom Mann perform Let Her Go. And here he is. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? I'm well. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm quite a big fan, as you probably know, since I kidnapped you and that's why I was sitting <laughs> in the field, hiding out from all the police. But you were pretty amazing. <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> so tell me about your recent success since The X Factor. What's changed? Yeah, it's, it's been pretty crazy. So across social media, um, basically blew up majorly on Twitter. That was the, the main place where it went absolutely crazy, overwhelmingly crazy. You've got a big fan base. A big fan base already, yeah. I am your number one fan, don't you forget that. So for the people who don't know, tell us about the audition process and the experience of it and what it's like. Um, once again, a surreal experience. Um, obviously the first round this year they brought back the, the room auditions. Um, the nice so, touch, I like that. I like that as well, but um, being in that position at that, that moment in time was absolutely terrifying. More than Wembley? Yeah, I'd say so, because you, you have a crowd behind you, um, and if you win the crowd over, then that's going to loosen you up and yeah. give you a bit of confidence. But in that room, when you're performing, you literally have no idea what they're thinking. No. Um, so that's the, that's the terrifying part, and sort of looking up and seeing who's in front of you. Who do you look at out of the four judges? Um, I tried. I tried to divide it and look at all four and make my performance believable. Um, eye contact was something I was quite worried about. Mm. Um, I tend to close my eyes when I sing sometimes, so I knew that I had to keep them open. But on that day, I tell you what, it was such a stressful day that by the time I got to performing, it was almost like I was in a daydream whilst I was performing. So I managed to lock on with the judges. Was it Nicole you stared at most? Yeah, yeah, it was Nicole I stared at most. Um, it was left out of the edit in the first round, but she, she basically commented on, on the eye contact and said that not many boys can, can hold that stare with her for about 30 seconds, and I held it. Because they're too intimidated. Too intimidated. But you've got the balls to... No, I haven't got the balls. <laughs> You're wrong. No, I haven't got the balls. I was massively intimidated, but I just somehow on the day fluked it and managed to cover it, <laughs> cover it up. Where did you two end up going? That is none of your business. Anyway, I had a great catch up with Tom. And now we go and see what, as I've said, this successful Maynard's been up to. Connor Maynard's in the house! Let's take a look. So guys, we're here with Connor Maynard. Hello everyone. Hi. Hello. How, How are you today? You? I'm good, very nice to meet you. And to you. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, mate. Such a nice time. Yeah, yeah that's. It's our first time meeting, so I'm slightly nervous. First time meeting. Got tingles all over my body. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what you're doing at the moment. Um, yeah, so I've kind of just gone back into the whole, I suppose, the whole promo mode of everything yeah. that I do. Kind of starting to push the new single, Are You Crazy, which is obviously um, written, well, co written and produced by Labyrinth, mm -hmm. which was amazing to, yeah. kind of, an amazing experience for me because, you know, he's, yeah, he's, a, he's an incredible artist, so it was really cool to work with him. Yeah, so it was kind of it was like a different vibe. I got to kind of I got to kind of go through with uh, with this. But that's what kind of I'm planning for the whole new album, which is meant to be, I suppose, released early next year. So at the moment, we're literally yeah, just recording a bunch of tracks for the uh, for the new album. So. I know that she wants me back. Nothing sounds more better than hit the road, Jack. Jack. Don't call me Mister. Girl, I've broken up with you. Love me now. My name is bigger. Girl, I'm giving you the finger. Yeah. So, because obviously you've had the last few months off, you, what have you been doing with yourself? Just well, that's it. Well, everyone fun. thinks I've had the last few months off. Just because I've been behind the scenes, like, everyone thinks, oh, you know, you've been on holiday, where have you been? You've been nice. Is there anywhere nice? Yeah. <laughs> like, I've actually been like, in a cave for people to check and meet at me. I get to eat every now and then. But, uh, no, yeah, I've been working on the new album, kind of getting all loads of new stuff um, ready. Um, and, oh, yeah, I'm releasing a book this year as well. A book? I'm releasing a book, so a I've been working, been working on that. Um, 
Yeah, so, but to boost sales, I named it um, Harry Potter and Fifty Shades of uh, <laughs> Sudoku. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty Shades of Sudoku. Amazing. I just wonder if I get a double page spread in that book, obviously. You are in it. Even though we just met. Even though we just met, like, I, just I just had a premonition I was going to meet you in it. Do you really have that much to say about him, though? Um, uh, yeah, there's, there's a few things I'll say about Three it. sentences kind of in there about me. <laughs> but no, it's, it's literally about my, um, my, you know, my life so far. So yeah, seven pages long. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, because it's 20 years to read. <laughs> yeah, 20 years, every second, literally. Is like, there lots of well. pictures? A lot of sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, because obviously I didn't come through X Factor, I didn't kind of come through a, a way that was in the public eye. Yeah. A lot of people don't really know how I got to where I am, so. But that's brilliant, because you've kind of gotten to the point without any help, it's just through your own Yeah, experience. I think one of the cool things about how I got to where I am is basically, yeah, it was just through a hobby of that I had, you know, growing up. It was just, well, you know, from the age of 15 onwards, you know, I used to, like, just record things in my room, yeah. put it up um, on the internet. That sounds really weird, but not in that way. <laughs> <laughs> I would record songs in my room, put it up on the internet, and... Um, and yeah, people just started watching it, and obviously, um, I don't want to give it away, I don't want to give away the ending, guys, of the story. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, obviously Neo kind of uh, spotted me on, yeah. on YouTube, and well, this is his, his story. <laughs> is it going to be a part two to the book, because hopefully you haven't finished? Hopefully there'll be more, yeah. more of my life. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I can write about it. <laughs> like, exactly. The rest was really boring, and no one was going to have that. <laughs> but, I mean, um, that's what's so great about you, though, because you're only 20, your career's only just started, so you've still got so much yeah. longer to go. That's why the book is literally... Do you reckon you'll still carry on singing? Or do you reckon you'll change careers? No, I definitely, you know, I definitely think there's more goals and When's more the things. When's aftershave coming out? Um, well, once I can grow a beard. <laughs> <laughs> what about the film? Oh, so you suffer it from Jack as well. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't hit puberty. I was, yeah, I remember me and Jack were younger, we used to use the, the other end of um, shower gel. This didn't happen. <laughs> we did, we've only just met, okay? This didn't happen. What are you all about? <laughs> <laughs> so, where can you see yourself in 10 years' time? Do you reckon you'll still be singing, writing music? Um, I think there's definitely still a lot of things that I want to achieve within mm -hmm. kind of uh, music and stuff. But um, acting was actually always one of my kind of main things I loved doing growing up. Music wasn't really ever my kind of main, I suppose, like passion. It was you more, just happened to be good. Yeah, it, well, yeah, I was just really gifted and I just could do whatever I want. <laughs> no, um, no it, was just, it kind of was, yeah, it was like a hobby that became a career, so it was never really planned to happen, so. No. Um, but I'd love, all, I'd, yeah, I'd definitely love to get back into acting one day. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Must be stupid if you think that we don't again. So, Connor, we've decided to go on Twitter and yeah. ask your fans if they could ask you anything, what would it be? We've right. literally so, got the questions coming through. Does anyone scene. care? Or? <laughs> yeah. No, no one cares. <laughs> a few people shut up. So, Musical Mad Girl 10 asks, would you record a song with a maniac? Ooh, that's a good one, man. If I, if I met a maniac that I felt was very... Oh, my fans called Maniacs, by the way. I don't yeah. know if you knew that. Okay. I got that. Okay, so that's my life. Yeah, I'd love to record a song with a maniac. We love person. maniacs. No, um, I think, you know, if, if, if I met a maniac, I've, seen, I've, I've actually seen some maniacs out there that, have, that seem to have really, really cool voices that like they send me like covers of, 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 of my songs they've done and some of them are really good. Crazy maniac, no, crazy mofo. This one is my favourite. Underscore jcat asks, want to go to Nando's with her? Let's do it. Whitlow, one, asks, what do you like most about Jack? That's me. awkward. Jack's just a ball of fun. Oh yeah. A bundle a barrel of laughs. A satchel of love. <laughs> Such a <laughs> Aileen asks, what colour is your hair? <laughs> Can she not see? But the colour of my hair is actually a very discussed topic by a lot of my fans. Is and it, once is I saw it blonde, is it brown? Well I I, 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 I once got ginger. I got a I got a I got a tweet from someone um saying oh my god, Conor, uh, this is after the V Festival. Yeah, like, oh my god, Conor Man, our set was so good at V Festival and then it hashtag love a ginger. <laughs> oh. I was like <laughs> Not that anything gets gingers, you're, you're wonderful and beautiful. But you're not but a ginger. I don't think I'm ginger. So Connor, last of Twitter questions, and at crazy for Connor, I think she's quite crazy about you, asks, what do you love most about your fans? Um, well, my fans are crazy. They're very, very dedicated, they're very, very loyal, um, and obviously they got me to where I am, so, you know, I think I, I, I love most things about them there. They're, yeah, it's a very, very, very good family, very nice family. We've had an amazing time with Connor, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. And good luck with the album, good luck with the single. Thank you good very much, thank it. you very much for having me. Yeah. So 
like I said earlier, every week we are going to be having a challenge. And today we are here at the Spectrum in Guildford where I am setting with Jack the challenge of diving. He's in there getting ready. So while he's in there, let's see how Lauren's doing over in LA. Thanks, Alana. I'm here today in Los Angeles with the actor and fashionista, Justin Pearl. Thank you so much for joining us today, Justin. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came to be here in LA. I drove cross country by myself following my dream. Had one dream in my pocket and here it is, coming alive. Wow, that is so fantastic. <laughs> And I know um, your first big break came with the big TV show for MTV, The Hard Times of RJ Berger. Tell us a little bit about that and what it was like to get such a big role. There was a lot of secrets on set, you know, with what I was doing. It was a very memorable, very rewarding, and a very awesome experience to work with such creative people yeah. that really want to work on their art. They really just want to create a show for young audiences to get that into a new demographic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was well, awesome. It sounds amazing and I know as well as being an actor you're also a fashionista and you work at the famous Kitson stores here in LA and you are a stylist that well Kitson is an amazing company they deal with a lot of different brands a lot of different trends yeah. they've got a lot of different vendors that really come into the store and treat us really well I mean we deal with a lot of celebrities coming into the store so it's my job to bring this person that's on the inside to the outside. I mean, look at you. I mean, <laughs> you're amazing. <laughs> Tell us who some of those celebrities are that you've worked with and what you've done with them, whatever. Well, I've worked with uh, Justin Bieber, Rihanna, um, Kelly Rowland, uh, Reggie Bush has come into our store. Yeah, a lot of people freak out when Kobe Bryant comes in the store. Like, a lot mm -hmm. of the girls are like, oh, hey. <laughs> I get to meet the most interesting people just through that job alone. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we, we live in Hollywood, so we meet a lot of interesting people. But the people that shop, they can be characters as well. Well, it sounds really amazing. And I know the biggest high in your career came with the TV show Glee. But not only Glee, you starred opposite Kate Hudson, whom I love. Well, I will say she's not as good as you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kate Hudson is fabulous. I mean, she's got this energy about her that really just draws people. She's just so sweet, very present, very in the moment, mm -hmm. and one of the most pro professional people that I've ever gotten the pleasure to work with. Yeah. Not only that, working on Glee, I mean, not that many people get the chance to work on one of the number one shows. Yeah, worldwide. Ever. Yeah, yeah, worldwide. Yeah. I mean, everybody watches the show, and it's got a great message, you know, stop bullying, be who you are, be comfortable with that. And working on that show and working with someone as inspirational as Kate Hudson mm -hmm. really kind of brought those true colors out. You know, let me be me. You can find out more about Justin on his Twitter if you go to at who is Justin Cohn. Who is Justin Cohn? I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> Thank you so much, <laughs> no, Justin. So as you can see, we're here in the diving pits where I'm joined by Louise, who is going to be teaching Jack how to dive. Hi Louise, how are Hi, you? Hi, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So tell us what you're going to teach Jack. Um, basically we're going to start off with some introduction to diving. So it's going to be some basic skills on the side of the pool where he'll be just getting used to using different muscles, getting used to the kind of movement and style okay. of diving. Um, good aim I think is possibly getting him doing just a front jump straight which is a simple dive with the five metre board. And then we've got the three metre and one metre springboard. We can get him doing a fall in dive off those boards as well. That'd be a really good achievement for the time we have. Cool. This is what it's come to. Me in very, very tight shorts. Are you enjoying yourselves at home? I'm not. I'm stopping off. I'm scared of heights, so this diving is gonna. It's not gonna end well. Should we give it a go? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So you can start with your toes to the edge of the water. They're not gonna go over the edge because you want to be going up to it. I want you to imagine you're sitting on a toilet. Nice and high. One, two, three. Better. Your body wasn't quite straight as you landed, so keep that bottom nice and tight, which means you need to hold that stomach in. I just feel like I'm doing this my whole life. It's no problem for me. I can't touch my, I can't touch my That's fine. Down. Doesn't matter how no, hard you No, when touch. I say I can't touch my toes, I, I have something wrong with my feet. I've you don't need to touch your toes. Exactly the same. Rise up and fall in. Good. We're gonna do exactly the same. But you're gonna do it I'm gonna land flat on my back. You're doing this, that, you're literally doing this, so I'm I have. Yeah, you are. I'm not. Oh no, I'm not worried about it, I'm worried about like, the little. Worst case scenario, huh? you get a little bit of breathing. That's the pipe, you know? What the tuck was it? Oh, the, the tuck. Oh first. my god, I'm definitely not going to have you. Wow. Okay, so we're going to start with your toes to the 
doing it really well. Hello. Hi, how's it going? It's going alright. You're doing pretty well. Pretty it's quite well. tiring. I know, I, tiring. I'm not ready for the Olympics just yet, I don't think. I'm getting there. I'm trying I my best. I think you'll be ready soon. I think I'm just going to get more. Go on. Yeah, yeah. Go on, okay, on. I'll go there. So we're going to have a look at the top. See what I'm dealing with. Might give it a go. Might get too scared. Most likely going to get too scared. But we're going to try. So here we are at the top, the five metre board, I believe. It, I feel like I'm on a building, like a literally skyscraper. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna deal with this. I'm literally like shaking, I'm a bit scared. Yeah, it's really high, it's really high. It's really high. <laughs> Stop for a sec. Scared at the moment, meant to look at my hands, looked at the water because I was too scared, made it worse, looked a bit amateur, I'm not gonna lie. So how was Jack? He did really, really, really well. He didn't too, too, too bad, did he? No, he did fantastically, considering it takes someone years, and actually years, to be able to get to that sort of ability and standard. He's done really, really well. So he's a bit of a pro. He's a bit of a pro. Olympics. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Tom Daly just gave me a call and um, we're gonna go for a swim later, I think. So we'll see how that goes and then. Can I come? Tom Daly. I don't know, you're a bit amateur. <laughs> Yeah, it was good. It's good experience. Thank you for yeah. teaching me how to dive. Thank you I mean, very much. It was lovely to meet you. Thank you, you too. And um, thank, thank you, you for thank teaching you. Jack how to dive. You're very, very welcome. Success. Well, that was fun. It was. It was a good experience. I enjoyed watching you. I've never thought I was such a strong swimmer, but now I know I can dive. It's pretty good. Or well, basically a thousand metres in the air. A thousand, yeah. Five. Felt like, felt like a thousand. Well, well, don't exaggerate, do you? Just look forward to your challenge next week. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm scared. Well, you guys have that to look forward to. And we will see you back at the studio. Back at the studio. <laughs> well, does anyone else agree with me that it's a bit unfair that I'm the only one who's fallen in the pool today? So, Ilana, come here quickly. Come here. I just want to say a massive thank you for today because it's really cute. <laughs> okay, I don't really know what to say right now. I'm just going to kill Jack now, so we'll see you next time. We hope you guys enjoyed watching the show as much as we enjoyed making it. And make sure you follow us on Twitter at WakeUpWithTV so don't fall behind on anything that's going on. And to find out about when our next guests are on. You can also subscribe to our YouTube, which is youtube.com forward slash WakeUpWithTV. So we will see you next time, guys. Bye bye. bye. We hope you guys enjoyed the show as much we- Yeah, you're gonna get in the back. Stop! You're unprofessional! And lastly, tell us what it- What do you wanna know? <laughs> Why don't I ask you some questions? Tell about this. Uh, lastly, tell us about, um... I've done it again. <laughs> what do you wanna ask me last? Wait. Wake up with... <laughs> <laughs> Let's start that again. What yeah, oh, it was the best time of my life. I'm glad it's over. No, why would I be glad it's over? <laughs>